The former Fort Worth police officer who will stand trial for the shooting death of a woman in 2019 is hoping to have his trial moved out of Tarrant County. Aaron Dean, along with his attorneys, were in court this morning and will return tomorrow. Fox Wars Dion Anglin is at the courthouse in Fort Worth with more on what happened in court today. Dion. Hi there, Clarice. Well, a lot of uh, discussion today uh, surrounding information and records as it pertains to witnesses, and that goes for every expert, police officer, and civilian who will testify at this trial. All right, we're going to go over the state's motions first. Judge David Hagerman granted a number of state and defense motions in the murder case against Aaron Dean, including background checks required for each witness and a review of any criminal history. If you have criminal histories on any of your witnesses, you need to turn it over. Yes, Your Honor. More intense was the discussion of police officers' personal notes taken during the Atatiana Jefferson fatal shooting investigation. I don't care how you do it, okay, but you make sure every officer on that witness list has been told to maintain their personal notes and to disclose them to you. The tone reached another level when Dean's attorneys pushed back on the state's accusation that they were on a fishing expedition with sweeping requests for witness and police information. These particular requests are, are a reminder to the state of Texas and to this court what the state's duty is. Okay, you don't have to remind me about what the state's duty is. I've been telling them what their duty is the entire morning. I'm asking you to narrow down your request just a little bit Several of Tatiana Jefferson's family members were seated in the back of the courtroom, a matter that prompted attention. You solemnly swear or affirm the testimony you'll give in this cause before us will be the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth, so help you God. I do. Ashley Carr, Jefferson's sister, was sworn in because she will be called to testify when the trial begins in January. Both sides have agreed to let you stay in the courtroom, but the court's going to order that uh, whatever you hear in this courtroom, you not discuss that with any other possible witness. The hearing wrapped up around noon, but will continue Tuesday morning. Well, the most anticipated motion for a change of venue was not addressed today. This hearing will continue first thing tomorrow. And that topic, whether or not Aaron Dean is believed to be able to get a fair trial here in Tarrant County, will most likely be the focus of the day.